Today, we're going to be going over one of the strangest built college basketball stadiums and that basketball stadium is memorial gymnasium which is home of the vanderbilt commodores this is one of the most strangest and unique built college basketball stadiums in the country we're gonna be going over everything about the memorial gymnasium in this video so if you guys are new around here make sure you guys go ahead drop a like comment down below on the video and also subscribe for more if you are new i'd greatly appreciate it but the Memorial Gymnasium uh, was opened on December 6th, 1952. It holds a capacity now of 14,316 people, and it is actually the SEC's most historic home for college basketball. Memorial Gymnasium was dedicated in 1952 as a memorial to all Vanderbilt men and women who served in World War II, and the arena was built the strange way it is uh, for a combination gymnasium and concert hall. It was uh, designed by architect Edwin Keeble. Now, the stadium has undergone renovations since the 1952 season. However, on the oldest home arenas in Division I college basketball still active, Memorial Gym uh, for the Vanderbilt Commodores comes in tied at number 26. They're tied with Welsh Ryan Arena for the Northwestern Wildcats. Now, Vanderbilt University is obviously located in Nashville, Tennessee. That is where uh, this basketball stadium is located. Now, obviously, the stadium was built for not only basketball games, but also concerts and other events. And because of that, the court is very, very wide open. Now, normal basketball college stadiums and even NBA basketball stadiums, they have the players and coaches benches on one side of the sideline. However, at Memorial Gymnasium, the players and coaches benches are on the baselines of the court which is a very very weird look the visitor team is benched on one side and the home team for vanderbilt their bench is on the other baseline the court is also raised as it sits above portions of the crowd now this is a stadium that visitors hate to come to it can get very loud and very crazy in this stadium which makes it very very hard for the visiting team and since 1977 memorial gymnasium has ranked among the ncaa's top 30 attendance leaders in men's basketball 23 times and actually on the court vanderbilt men's and women's teams have won more than 78 percent of their home games at gym their gymnasium uh, memorial gymnasium and again if you just look at pictures of memorial gymnasium it just has a weird look everything about it there's just so much more space and in every corner you will see this weird looking pillar squared shape pillar in each of the four corners uh, around the stadium now the stadium now consists of three tiers of seating and it's actually quite easy to see the scoreboard there's obviously one big scoreboard in the middle of the stadium but also in the four uh, all four corners of the pillars they also feature scoreboards which makes it very nice and easily seen for the fans now in 2002 a 25 million dollar renovation of memorial gymnasium gymnasium was completed and there was a one-of-a-kind feature added uh, connected to the facility sat a new practice gym that includes a three cross court playing floor coaching offices a donor room and a hall of champions and obviously other aspects of the renovation including upgrades to the seating areas private suites new lighting and sound system and a new court design and just recently in the 2021 through 2022 season vanderbilt's men's and women's basketball locker rooms were also renovated and all all in all, the Memorial Gymnasium has expanded a total of three times. It was constructed with a seating capacity of 6,583 people, and they in increased it first in 1965 with a new addition of two north side balconies. And also two years later, a pair of balancing balconies were added 
on to the south side of the gym. Now capacity actually reached its highest number of 15,646 in 1969 when 4,000 seats were added in the east and west ends of the stadium. However, when they added careback seats in the end zones and suites on the north side in the 1990s, capacity was lowered to 4,000. 14,316 people and also after the 2012 season a new video board was installed which is now the video board that stands in the middle of the stadium which has four screens on it makes it very nice for the fans to see it and also in the 2021 through 2022 season the corner boards which we just mentioned that's when those were installed in all four corners of the facility they've undergone a lot of upgrades and changes to the stadium however one thing has remained the quirkiness and unique and strangely built memorial gymnasium has remained as one of the strangest and craziest built college basketball stadiums in the world and again the reason it's built like this is because it was not only built for athletics like basketball games and so on but also for concerts and all other events that they have hosted at memorial gymnasium it has a cool background story to it it's obviously like i said in the beginning of the video it was dedicated to the men and women who served in world war ii and it was named in honor of the 144 vanderbilt students who lost their lives during world war ii so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about memorial gymnasium home of the vanderbilt commodores and also let me know in the comment section what other videos you guys want me to make what other stadiums you guys want me to talk about i greatly appreciate the suggestions and if you guys aren't around here make sure you guys go ahead subscribe for more if you are new around here also leave a like and comment down below on the video other than that that's going to wrap up today's video. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace.